In this lesson, we're going to combine everything we have learned in the past couple of lessons into this one lesson. As you can see, I have already added a lamp to my workspace. My lamp is just uh, just consists of two parts. The, the lamp is uh, a sphere, it's a ball, and the pole is just a cylinder that I stretch it to make it really long. And just make sure those two parts are anchored. Next, we're gonna go to our lamp, and we're gonna add a point light. In the search box, put in point light, and select the point light object. If you wanna make your point light brighter, click on the point light and go to the properties window, go to brightness, and you can adjust the brightness. And now let's go to the server script service and we're gonna add a script. In your script, just put in the following lines. In the first two lines here, I'm declaring two separate variables, one to represent my lighting service and the other one to represent my lamp. And down here, I have a an infinite while loop. So as you can see, I say while true do me means this loop is never gonna end. Initially, I start out at 4 a.m. So I'm setting my current time to 4 a.m. And when I go inside my while loop, I'm setting the clock time to the current time, which means it's gonna start out at 4 a.m. And as I loop through the loop each time, I'm gonna add 0 0.01 to my current time. And then I check the current time. If the current time is equal to or greater than 24, which means it's at the end of the day, it's at midnight, I reset the current time back to zero. And then it's gonna it's gonna start all over again because this loop never gonna end. And each time I loop through the loop, I'm adding a weight in there to slow down my loop a little bit. So what we have so far here is gonna give us our automatic day and night cycle. Next thing we wanna do is we want to put in the code for the automatic lamp. Here's the code for the automatic lamp. All I'm doing is I'm checking the current time and if the time is later than 6 a.m., then I want to turn off the lamp. But I also want to check to make sure that the time is before 7 p.m. So if the time is after 7 p.m., then I do want to do the else part here where it's going to turn on the lamp. And as I turn off the lamp, I'm changing the material back to plastic. And when I turn on the lamp, I'm changing the material to neon. All right, so that's our code for the automatic day and night cycle and for the automatic lamp. And I know I'm going through this fairly quickly, but th these are all reviews from our previous lesson. So you can always refer back to our previous lesson for more details. Now, without further ado, let's go to our game. So we're gonna start out at 4 a.m., I believe. And you can see it's dark and the lamp is on over there. And now it's morning. You see the sun is going up and look at the lamp. It's off. And look at the sunrise. Okay, let me run to my lamp. The sun is still going up, so I think it's, it's not noon time yet. So we're waiting for the night to fall and we're going to check to see if our lamp is going to come back on. If it doesn't go on, then it's not automatic. Where's the sun? I lost the sun. Let me zoom back out. I still cannot see the sun. It has disappeared on me. Looks like it's going to rain or something. Oh, um, okay. So now it's like evening time. It's getting dark. I still cannot see the sun. There's no sun today. I see a lot of stars though. Where's my lamp? Seven o'clock. The lamp is on. Look at that. And if you if you need it to be brighter, you can always adjust the brightness in your game. 
All right, and when it's morning again, the lamp should go back off. So I'm just waiting here for it to go off. Just to make sure. It's very nice and quiet here. Where's the moon? There's no moon and no sun today. But I do see in the horizon, the sun is rising. There, oh, there's the moon, it's going down. And the sun is rising on the other side. All right, everyone, that's how you set up an automatic lamp and an automatic day and night cycle in Roblox. And if you are looking for some additional material to work on prior to the next lesson being posted, I would recommend going to our PriceCP Roblox YouTube channel, click on the playlist, and go to our PriceCP Roblox Extreme Short Series. In this series, you find that the lessons are taught at a quicker pace. So it's probably not the best for new beginners, but for beginners with some experience in building like yourself, it's probably perfect for you. So give it a try, check it out, and until next time, happy coding.